Welcome to Citizen Initiatives and the Article 5 Single Issue Countermand Amendment Initiative, the final piece in the Article 5 puzzle. I'm Charles Kaprowitz, National Director. If you are a state legislator, this brief video will provide essential information on how the Countermand Amendment is advancing and how it will restore states' rights for your citizens. If you are a concerned citizen, the video will provide you with needed material to provide your state legislators that explains what steps they need to take to sponsor the Countermand Amendment in both chambers of your state legislature. Citizen Initiatives and its team have been the leading authority on the Article 5 amendment process, either through Congress or amendment conventions, for 40 years. Our mission has been to prevent state legislatures from abdicating their sovereign authority under Article 5 to Congress, the courts, executive branch, or delegates sent to a convention. State legislatures are the final arbiters in all constitutional matters through to the ratification of an amendment. You will learn in this presentation how state legislatures can address egregious wrongs suffered by their citizens through a single issue Article 5 Countermand Amendment Convention, which will be safe, quick, and successful. With the Countermand Amendment, states can countermand laws and regulations that are burdensome to the states and that infringe on the constitutional rights of their citizens. This is a list of possible infringements by the federal government. First Amendment, Second Amendment, Fourth Amendment, Ninth Amendment, Tenth Amendment. Article 4, Section 4 infringements that violate the guarantee that our government will be a constitutional republic with independent states state and private land seized by the federal government, deficit problems, debt issues, taxation issues, health care issues, energy and mining issues, land use issues, local education issues, social issues, transportation issues, and more. Article 5 does not authorize the convening of constitutional conventions also called open conventions. This flawed argument has paralyzed state legislators for over 30 years. What Article 5 does authorize is the convening of amendment conventions to propose amendments to the Constitution, not to diminish its supremacy as the protector of our civil liberties and states' rights. Article 5 is a new beginning for Americans and state legislatures. It cannot be used as a second constitutional convention. That was never its purpose. The sole purpose of Article 5 is to empower state legislatures to address egregious wrongs suffered by the people and to remedy those wrongs one amendment at a time when the federal government refuses to do so. Article 5 does not allow the states to rewrite the Constitution. If the states wanted to rewrite the Constitution, they would have to do the following. 1. Secede from the Union. 2. Call a separate convention. And 3. Form a new government. However, because Article 5 survived even through the Civil War, the states have no need to secede. They can affirm and secure their sovereign authority peacefully. With the Countermand Amendment, state legislatures will reclaim their sovereign authority as was intended by the Founders in our Constitutional Republic. Remember, 13 state legislatures created the Constitution. Their purpose was not to abdicate their sovereign status, but to provide a forum so the federal government could function effectively to protect the states, not to rule over them. The thorniest problem they had to resolve was how the states would retain their nation-state sovereignty 
while providing the government sufficient federal authority to govern effectively for the good of the states and their citizens. This was accomplished in Article 5. The unanimous vote requirement under the Articles of Confederation was changed to three quarters of the state legislatures when ratifying amendments. Sovereignty in state legislatures did not change. It was retained by the states in Article 5. State legislatures are in fact the deliberative body, not delegates, sent to an Article 5 convention. The delegates are ambassadors for their legislatures. They are not independent agents under Article 5. The legislatures alone define their sovereignty without the consent of Congress, the courts, executive branch, or delegates. The only restriction for the states is to propose amendments at the convention not to usurp the supremacy of the Constitution. It is also possible for the state legislatures to apply for more than one single-issue amendment convention at the same time. If delegates are sent to a convention thinking that they are equivalent to the founders and have authority to rewrite the Constitution contrary to the will and the limitations placed on the legislatures in Article 5, then the convention will become mayhem and nothing meaningful will come out of it. In such a case, the legislatures will be surrendering their authority to a body of delegates that were never given constitutional authorization to conduct themselves in such a manner. Simply stated again, Article 5, under Article 5, there is no allowance for a constitutional convention, and state legislatures alone retain sovereignty as the deliberative body for the purpose of proposing amendments to address egregious wrongs suffered by the people. With the single issue countermand amendment, the states will be able to safely and successfully address nearly every issue between them and the government. The states can restore our constitutional republic. Article 5 represents a new beginning for the states and for our citizens. There are many voices advising state legislators to ignore many critical matters that will diminish legislative sovereignty at a convention. One dangerous idea is that legal precedents and convention experience before the Constitutional Convention will cause an Article 5 convention to be governed safely. This is wishful thinking. The only way for the legislatures to protect their authority is through a pre-approved delegate resolution that binds their delegates. The first order of business at the Constitutional Convention was will one vote per state delegation rule. Thirty plus state conventions before the Constitutional Convention had no sway in deciding this matter. It was a political matter and the sovereignty of each state was hanging in the balance. Because there were more smaller states attending the convention, the one vote per state rule was adopted. At the Constitutional Convention, George Wythe proposed the following rules of order to be adopted before the convention began its deliberations. One, proceedings to be in secret. Two, guards to be placed at doors. Three, credentials required for entrance. Four, each state would be allowed one vote. Note that the 30 plus previous state conventions did not decide this question. It was decided because it was a political question through the small estates. It will have to be decided again and again and again at any Article 5 convention. 5. Polls of delegate positions were not recorded. 6. Delegates speak only twice. 7. Delegates to pay strict attention to others. 8. Remarks must be addressed to the President. Each of these issues will have to be revisited at an Article 5 convention and the only way for the legislatures to protect their deliberative body status is through a delegate resolution that binds the delegates. There could be as many as 534 politically charged delegates summoned by Congress to an Article 5 convention. They will have to decide if the convention will adopt a Republican form of government 
guaranteed in Article 4, Section 4 of the Constitution, and if each state will have one vote, or will it assign one vote per delegate, which means the more populous states will govern. In this case, California would send 50 plus delegates to the convention, while Montana sends only five. Not a fair formula for protecting states' rights. Another issue these 534 politically charged delegates will have to decide is whether or not majority rule will decide all matters at roll calls. Also, will delegates be bound to the same rules of order and to a pre-approved amendment text? These are critical questions that must be and can be settled by state legislatures through delegate resolutions before the Countermand Amendment Convention is convened. If the state legislatures allow legal precedents and convention experience to protect their sovereignty, they will be endlessly mired in Article 5 political battles for generations to come. The legislatures must not abdicate to anyone what they presently have. This is not a subtle point that can be settled with the opinions of Article 5 groups. Either the legislatures protect and retain their Article 5 sovereignty, or they will lose it. The Countermand Amendment is a bipartisan amendment that will allow 30 states to countermand and rescind any law or ruling that is burdensome to their states, citizens, businesses, and industries. The Countermand Amendment provides tools with teeth for the states. Intentional violators of its provisions can be charged in federal or state courts with a maximum penalty of five years in prison. The federal government will be forced to treat the states as partners in government, not subjects. The Countermand Amendment is bipartisan. Laws and regulatory rulings can be rescinded, forcing the government either to rewrite it in a way more amenable to the states or to simply abandon it. The Countermand Amendment will put teeth into state nullifications. States can still exercise individual nullifications against laws that are onerous to them. The Countermand Amendment will also allow the states to define their Ninth and Tenth Amendment unenumerated rights permanently and without violence. Pretty powerful, wouldn't you say? The Countermand Amendment, Article 5 process and timelines are as follows. One, Applications from 34 state legislatures directing Congress to convene the Countermand Amendment Convention should be completed by late 2015. Two, delegate resolutions from 26 or more states should be done before the convention convenes. With delegate resolutions in place, the proceedings at the Countermand Amendment Convention could be as short as one week. Three, 38 state ratifications by late 2015 or early 2016. And four, countermand initiatives by the states should start in 2016. State legislatures alone have sovereign authority under Article 5 to make applications for a convention and to ratify amendments without the consent of Congress, the courts, executive branch, regulatory agencies, or delegates. State legislatures can define the agenda at a convention, establish the rules of order before the convention convenes, and through delegate resolutions by 26 or more states, send delegates to a convention with a pre-approved text of the amendment that will give us a safe, quick, and successful convention. There are three documents needed for a safe countermand amendment convention. 
Use these links to download copies of each document. The text for the Count Amend Amendment, which is included in the Delegate Resolution, the application by the legislatures directing Congress to convene the Single Issue Count Amend Amendment Convention, and three, the Delegate Resolution that binds the delegates to their legislatures, guaranteeing that the amendment voted on is the pre-approved text by the state legislatures. To assure that Congress will not politicize the convention process, each state should have the same language in their applications for the Count Amend Amendment Convention. In addition, 26 or more states must have near identical wording in their delegate resolutions to assure that the delegates will conduct themselves according to the collective will of the legislatures. Because the de delegate resolution is a contract between the delegates and their legislatures, it will not violate Article 1, Section 10 that prohibits interstate agreements without the consent of Congress, which we want to avoid. The states must not abdicate their sovereignty under Article 5 to the federal government. The text for the Count Amend Amendment must also be approved by 26 or more legislatures. It is included in the Delegate Resolution. The full text of the Count Amend Amendment can be downloaded at this link. You can read Section 1 and 2 on this screen. Click your pause button to read the text. Section 5 and 6 can be read on this slide. These are the enforcement sections of the Count Amend Amendment, empowering the states to prosecute intentional violators in the absence of federal action. The links for the full text of the application directing Congress to convene the Count Amend Amendment Convention is shown in this screen. The title, Count Amend Amendment Convention, must be identical for all calling states. The text in the application should also be the same for all calling states. When the 34th state legislature completes its application, then the process becomes a mandate on Congress to convene the convention. If Congress delays convening the convention beyond 60 days, the states, having met their Article 5 constitutional requirements, could convene the convention on their own. The full text of the delegate resolution for the delegates being sent to the Countermand Amendment Convention can be downloaded with this link. The delegate resolution needs to be near identical for each of 26 or more states to assure that the convention will be safe and successful. A partial text can be viewed in this screen. The delegate resolution does not violate Article 1, Section 10, prohibiting interstate agreements without the consent of Congress. Article 5 is for state legislatures to rein in government and does not require that permission be first given by Congress or the courts or executive branch before a convention can be convened. As long as the purpose of the application is for proposing amendments, Congress's approval is unnecessary. To argue that the state legislatures in 1787, through the founders, inserted Article 5 to protect state sovereignty only if the federal government first approves it is absurd. The single issue countermand amendment convention is well defined and will not raise any red flags in Congress. Because Congress takes an oath to defend the Constitution against domestic and foreign enemies, it could have constitutional authority to reject applications that are for the multiple subjects and or multiple subsubjects on the grounds that the purposes of the applications are simply too sweeping. If you are a state legislator, sponsor the Count Amend Amendment application and delegate resolution in your legislature. Invite other legislators to be co-sponsors. 
introduce them in both chambers of your state legislature. Download copies of both documents with these links. As a concerned citizen, you can send this video to all of your state's legislators. Make copies of the following documents and give them to your legislators. Ask them to sponsor the countermand amendment in both chambers of your legislature. The documents you will need can be downloaded in PDF format at the following links, the application on Congress and the delegate resolution. Help citizen initiatives distribute countermand amendment bumper window stickers across America. They are removable. Our goal is to have one million bumper stickers on vehicles in 12 months. This is an excellent opportunity for political groups, social groups, church groups, and individuals to fund their projects. Go to the following link. Donations are $5 each. Resellers are welcome. This is an excellent opportunity to get the word out that we are reclaiming our constitutional republic while at the same time earning income for ourselves and organizations. The bumper sticker is an excellent fit with political, social, and church organizations. Help citizen initiatives send to state legislators hundreds of thousands of petitions directing legislators to make application on Congress for the Countermand Amendment Convention and to pass the delegate resolution. Online petitions and mail-ins are sent to your state legislators. Go to the following link and submit your petition today. Send this petition link to friends and associates asking them to submit their petitions. The Countermand Amendment is an historical initiative that promises to restore our constitutional republic. It is truly bipartisan that every American, regardless of their political preferences, can support. Thomas Jefferson said, God who gave us life gave us liberty. Can the liberties of a nation be secure when we have removed a conviction that these liberties are the gift of God? Indeed, I tremble for my country when I reflect that God is just, that his justice cannot sleep forever. Our personal liberties and states' rights hang in the balance. Go to countermands.us and join our team today. You will be making history.